going to the game, I'm going to be playing Jungle Wukong and show you the strengths of this champion. In this matchup, we're currently up against pure AP Nautilus and in a Wukong versus Nautilus, this is an advantage for Nautilus because of the fact that he has higher overall burst and a lot more crowd control. The advantage of Wukong is that he has the possibility of juking his opponents with the use of the second skill and one way to outplay the Nautilus is to be able to engage on him first and try to burst before he's able to use any skills. With the clear that I'm doing, I'm going for a blue side clear into most likely a full clear, but this can change depending on the state of the lanes. The reason why I'm starting at the blue side rather than the red side is because looking at the lanes, there's a double range top side wherein Zyra Twitch would not have any priority. Looking at the mid lane, Lucian Ezreal, zero crowd control. So this means that bot lane would be the easiest lane to gank with Renekton having high damage as well as crowd control. We also want to path towards the Pantheon because since both laners are very aggressive, there's a high chance that they could be easily ganked. If we get our Renekton ahead, put the Pantheon behind, their Baron laner wouldn't be able to do anything later on. When clearing with Wukong, one new thing with the rework is that you would always want to use your second skill first before using your third skill and then you could end up with an auto attack plus first skill. Since your second skill also works on the third, this would help Wukong's clear and you'd always want to use the clone to be able to tank the damage from the camps. Since Wukong doesn't have the lifesteal from first skill anymore, it's more on the HP region, you wanna try to make use of his clone. And here, we go for a gank onto the Pantheon. Immediately burst so much damage from the Wukong Q as well as the Renekton stun. This is what we want to do early, which is to help Renekton get a snowball on his lane. Unfortunately, there's a 1 for 1 trade mid lane, which is okay. But the bigger problem is that I think our Twitch got taken down by the Caitlyn Lux, which is something that I'm not surprised with. So in order to help them get back into the game, we go back to our base by Phage and Sheen and position ourselves to gank this lane. Caitlyn is very low, so there's a possibility that we can go for this. Even though Nautilus is there, we should have the HP advantage, and I'm pretty sure Nautilus hasn't gone back to base yet. Since there's no ward, Lux is overextended, and look at that damage! We just burst the uh, Lux with one combo, force the Caitlyn flash with our Hex flash, and immediately disengage. Twitch is able to get the last hit. And even if it's a one for one trade, it's well worth it. Because overall, we're able to get two kills. And Twitch getting a kill would help him accelerate his gold. We go back to base again. Tell our team to be careful because Lucian was missing a bit. And we continue with our top side clear. Second skill, third skill, auto attack plus first skill very smooth in clearing the camps and this would also keep us very healthy the reason why we went hex flash is because this would still allow us to get a good engage even if our flash is on cooldown with the use of face rush a rune that i really like this decreases the cooldown of my skills and helps me run faster when i engage with the eqr face rush proc and then I could either chase down the opponents or run away so that I don't get immediately bursted down. We go topside again with my ultimate being up in 5 seconds. Second skill, I made a bit of a mistake. I should have let the second skill stand still. But it's fine. Seeing that the Nautilus is bot lane, Renekton going for a 1v2 and winning it, which is really good. So I don't have to worry about the bot lane anymore since the Pantheon is gonna have a hard time seeing mid lane as much as i wanna buy my triforce lucian is overextended so we go for another wombo combo kind of an early flash not gonna lie so i have to go back unfortunately but at least we juke the pantheon take down the lucian go for a one for one trade and with this back i'm able to buy 
my Triforce. Would have been much cleaner if I was able to knock up the Lucian earlier. That's why sometimes you want to do ERQ instead of EQR so that you could cancel the Lucian Dash and easily take him down. With the Dragon and Herald up, I'm playing towards my winning lane, which is the Renekton, as much as I want to go for Dragon. But as soon as I see their positioning, we can go for the flip. Unfortunately, 88 HP on my smite. But with Renekton here, maybe we could win the fight. I'm just looking for someone that's out of position. Immediately burst the Pantheon. We have Triforce, so our EQ combo is really strong. Flash in, remove their jungler from the equation. With the Lucian, the only one left. Our combo is up yet again, and look at our damage. Our ultimate goes up at the perfect time. Unfortunately, Renekton goes down. But overall, even though we didn't get the Herald, we're still able to get a 1 for 1 objective trade overall. I have no smite yet, so it's gonna be a bit risky. With Pantheon showing up, I have to play safe. Bait the Pantheon stun. Take the Dragon for, for ourselves and then juke the Pantheon Spear. We live with 1 HP and this is what's really fun about Wukong. You get to juke a lot of people with the use of your second skill. They use Herald mid lane. Nothing we can do. Just give them the gold. It's fine. We're quite ahead in the game. 5 kills, 5k gold. And we're able to get a possible soul. We go back to our camp, start clearing these. Especially since my ultimate is on cooldown. The perfect time to farm my jungle camps. What I'm looking at is a possible gank at the bot lane. We want to try to keep our Renekton ahead. But seeing that the Nautilus is here, high chance is going to be a 2v2. So what I do here is I ping Renekton to come. Second skill, but Renekton... He just flashes in and I immediately follow up with my ultimate. Remove the jungle from the equation. Pantheon a bit overextended. I have my second skill to tank the tower. And then once I get aggro, it should be enough for us to get the kill. So this is another use of the Wukong clone. You could just make him run towards the tower and he could buy a lot of time in order for you to take down the enemy champion. Our Twitch died topside, but it's fine. We're getting two plates. One in the mid lane and one in the bot lane. With this back, the second item I'm going for is Ghost Blade. One thing about Wukong Clone is that Ghost Blade move speed and face rush works on him. So it's something that you could use to juke your opponent even more. Another reason why we're going for this item is because it has good synergy with Wukong's burst. Since his first skill deals a lot more damage now. Once we have Ghost Blade, we should be able to burst the squishy targets in one skill rotation. We're still playing for the winning lane, which is the Renekton. That's why we're positioning ourselves to gank the top lane. With the Lucian flashing and using his ultimate, we'll take it as a win and see that Caitlyn's out of position. Third skill, first skill ulti. Look at his HP, or her HP rather. I don't even have Ghost Blade. If I had Ghost Blade, Caitlyn just dies in one combo. Renekton also arrives and we burst the Nautilus without any problem. With this back, we have Ghost Blade now. And this would give us more mobility and higher damage. With our ultimate on cooldown, we'll go back to our camps. Raptors is up. Let's just take this without any issues. While taking this camp, I'm looking for any possible ganks that I can go for since I currently have no more jungle camps. Damage test onto the Pantheon. That's just two skills. Third skill, first skill, half HP. If I had ultimate and then do one more first skill, he would just die. He even ignites. Got really scared. Look at the top side though. Ezreal falls down. Lux and Caitlyn. Super extended, but what we want to do is burst down this Pantheon, e ultimate, then use our first skill once he has no more third skill, burst him, but unfortunately, we got overextended ourselves and immediately punished 
giving the shutdown to Lucian, which is not the best champion to, to die to. Twitch though, dealing so much damage, taking down the locks. Caitlyn lives with 1 HP. She leveled at the perfect time. Unfortunate. And yeah. This is something you have to worry about when playing a bit of a carry Wukong build. If you're placed out of position and you get caught by any crowd control, there's a high chance that you're just gonna get bursted down. The next item that we're going is a bit more defensive, which is Black Lever. And this item would give us both durability and a bit more damage at the same time. We take the red buff before the objective spawns and this is something that we want to take. We have armor boots for the Lucian damage. So we could tank the opponent. Especially since they have double AD. Renekton out of position dies but at least we're able to get a 1 for 1 trade. Use our second skill to bait their skills. Lux has no more ultimate. I have one more stack of my ulti. Poke them a bit, but with Pantheon flanking us at the backside, our Ezreal falls down. Make a bit of a mistake. I was supposed to clone towards the enemy team, but it's fine. Poke the Pantheon again with EQ. Zyra doing a good job with her plants. We get snared by this Nautilus, stunned by the Pantheon. So we have to use second skill and secure this objective with the first skill plus smite, which is worth it. This gives us second dragon and potential dragon soul. From a really bad team fight since our Renekton got picked off to a objective secure, which is well worth it. Lucian overextended, nice flak by the Renekton, getting a 1k shutdown, which is huge for our team. Looking at the gold, Renekton has 11k gold because of that shutdown, and we continue farming our camps so that we could get our next item. Cleaver has really good synergy with our kit since our ultimate can apply 3 stacks of Black Cleaver and since we have double AD, Twitch plus Ezreal or even Renekton, this would increase our overall team damage. We clear our camps again while looking for something to do. Scuttle is up at the bot side but we have zero vision so it's gonna be a bit scary we see that pantheon is overextended so maybe we could get a pick off and possibly start the baron we flash in cancels his ultimate and he just gets bursted one combo pretty much useless already at this stage of the game and another mistake this is something that's personally annoying when playing wukong is that Sometimes I make a mistake with a clone, it goes on the opposite direction of where I want him to go. But with enough practice, this is something that we could easily do later on. We take the red buff, give it to the Twitch. 80 gold left for Black Cleaver. And another thing about Wukong is that you could use the second skill to face check bushes so that you don't get out of position. We tax the cannon so that we have our cleaver ready. And as much as I want to go back, my team is positioning themselves for a fight. Twitch goes for an all-in onto the locks. Zyra with the ulti. Caitlyn wasn't knocked up, so she's able to escape. And we have no choice but to back off. Renekton overextended. Lucian with the perfect positioning. Catching our whole team. And overall, I don't think it's worth it. Going for a 3 for one trade. Baron is up. Even though I get my cleaver, this is something that they could take, especially since they have four members alive. I have yellow trinket for a possible steal. We see that Pantheon is both side. We place it, but someone used lens. And luckily, Baron is still at 5k HP and they decided to go back. Not to lose 1 HP, Hex Flash didn't reach, but this Lucian, we immediately burst him down. We get stunned by the Pantheon, but we're able to escape. Thanks to the face rush. Almost disaster. Clone to block the Caitlyn. Zyra lives with 1 HP. And we go back to base again. The next item that we want to buy is the stasis. This would help us survive even longer. 
uh, nice combo with Wukong and Stasis that what you could do is third skill, first skill ulti, and then Stasis. Even though you're at your Stasis mode, your ultimate can still deal damage. I'm telling my team to play for full soul. This is the best win condition for us since we have three dragons. Once we're able to get the dragon soul, it's pretty much GG. And I'm telling my team not to die because there's a super high chance that people always like to play greedy right before the objective spot. The moment we lose a fight onto the dragon, especially if it's a 5 for non exchange, that's possibly a free baron as well uh, for the opponent. Yep, the opponents also know. They want to deny the soul potential. We use our second skill to catch all the traps and face check the enemy positioning. We see that the Nautilus is there. So we position ourselves at the right side. Another clone to catch the trap. No more traps onto the Caitlyn. Nice poke by the Ezreal. Pull the dragon. Pantheon's on the right side, so we're trying to look for a catch onto him. Force the flash, which is big. And Dragon is now being started. Another flip. We take it for ourselves. Flash in. Second skill to stun also the backline. Buys time with stasis. And look how much time we're able to stall. Our carries are able to arrive. Unfortunately, we get taken down. But at least they already used all of their spells. And with this, we win the team fight. Going for a 5 for one exchange. And with the Ice Dragon Soul, top side is now open for us to break open. Possible end 16 minutes into the game. There's no more shield on the Nexus Tower. We have one good wave, double cannon minion. Renekton could just tank. 10 seconds, 7 seconds onto their Pantheon. Not enough time. Our team deals so much damage, double ADC. And yeah, we just ended. From that team fight. Pretty fun game. We're able to juke a lot and engage for our team. 77% Wukong. We get MVP with the 849 scoreline. We're able to provide so much crowd control for our team. 20k damage dealt. And personally, I'm liking the face rush on this champion. Especially if you want to go for a hit and run build. With that. I hope you guys enjoyed. That is it for me. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Peace out. Ciao, ciao. Bye.